Hello and welcome back to my scrap room. My name is Jennifer Perry. It is late in the day, but I had a few minutes that I could spend just goofing off in my scrap room. And I was flipping through the current catalog because one of my favorite things to do is flip through the catalog, find a card design, and see if I can make it without looking at the recipe index that you can get online with Close to My Heart. So one of the first stamps that I ordered in my personal order is the reset button. This one just, it struck me. All the sayings here for you, I'm so sorry, one of those days. Ouch, that's going to hurt. Where's the reset button? Turn a setback into a comeback. This stamp just kind of spoke to me, so it had to be one of the first ones that I bought. So one of the first things that I always do... Put that away before I lose it. I'm still working with it, which is why I have not put it into my stamp files yet. Is I turn to the page that the stamp is on. Now this particular stamp is on page 72 of the new catalog. And I always look at the examples that they give you first. And then if I don't get any inspiration from the examples, I will keep flipping through the catalog to see if there's something that I can cobble together. But this one right here struck me. I like the simplicity of it. And when I was going through it, I don't have the background image. So I was going to take thistle ink and just a simple background dot stamp and stamp dots back there. But I changed my mind. So the first thing I always do when I am looking to recreate a card is I always get some grid paper and I draw out kind of like a little map, a little page map for myself. And I make notes and the colors may start out the bit start out one color and I end up changing it to another color. Measurements may end up being changed, but this is my little page map that I make for myself. If I want to make this card in batches, then I have the recipe to be able to do it once I've played with it. So after looking at the stamp and looking at the example in the catalog, I came up with a few changes. The first change is instead of a stamp, I wanted to use this template. It is a background template, and then here is a circle stitched die cut, and then a tiny little heart, and this came from one of the thin cuts that I own, I don't remember which one, but it's, it's one of the close to my heart thin cuts. So the circle die, and then this template die right here. I've got the name of it in my thin cut binder, I'll look it up and I'll put it in the comments below. So that's what I started off with. And now we've got all of the components. So as you see here, instead of using the dots, I have my template background that I cut out. And then I have my sentiment that I cut out with the circle die. I have the tiny little heart. Here is the two little banner pieces that I needed, and then the shimmer trim. So we're just going to put this together real fast. I'm starting with the banner because I know the shimmer trim is slightly off, and I want to be able to trim it without it being on the card. So I have a pre-folded card base. I have not put my name on the back of it yet. So what I'm going to do is just take some score tape, put it along the outside edges. Make sure I've got it opening up the proper way. I do. I always double check myself on there because I am notorious for putting the cards on upside down, backwards, and inside out. And then we are going to put this right 
there. Let's do a little more score tape. Now in the catalog, this card looks like it is a 3x3. Three three. The other reason I make myself a little template, a little recipe template on a separate piece of paper is I can upscale the card or I can downscale it depending on my needs. So I didn't particularly need a card that was 3x3. Three three. I like standard size cards. So that's where it's nice. Taking a piece of grid paper and just making it whatever size suits your needs and what you would like to do. Now if you're sending a little gift to somebody as a, as a little pick-me-up, 3x3 three three might work. But I like to send these as just a, I'm thinking of you, I know things have been going rough, hopefully this is just a little smile in your mailbox type thing. I am going to use a bit of that just does not come off right. I've got a needle tip that doesn't come off right, so we're going to try this. This little cap is supposed to come off. Oops. This little cap is supposed to come off, and it just does not come off. I don't know if it accidentally got glued on there or what. So I need to buy a new little lid for that. And then I'm going to take some Bitty Sparkles, which I need to buy some more of because I am just about out. And yes, this amount is just about out for me. I'm going to add a few little bitty sparkles. So the colors being used are Thistle and Heather. This is the card that I came up with. And this is the card in the catalog. Right there. I know it's a little bit hard to tell, but this is an inked background, and it is 3x3. Three three. This is a die-cut background, and it is a standard A2 finished card. Thank you so much for joining me. I know you have 101 different things that you could be doing, but I am so thankful that you chose to spend just a few minutes of it with me. I hope you enjoyed this card. Until next time. Bye-bye.